Oof. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and another Reaction Wednesdays. Man, it's getting pretty cold down here in little New Zealand. So we've got some layers on today. I'm also in the mood to do something a little bit, a little bit weird. Watch something that's, um, watch something that's going to pique my interest. So that's why today we are watching a video from TLC again. Shout out TRC. I love TRC. <laughs> they literally just find the most strange people and make a whole show out of it. So I love it. This video is called Most Unusual Fetishes. My Strange Addiction. <laughs> I can't wait. If you guys have, is, if anyone has an unusual fetish, drop it in the comments below. <laughs> Out yourself. Expose yourself. Why not? We're all friends here. We're all family. Do I have any unusual fetishes? I wouldn't say unusual fetishes. I, I do some weird stuff like with food, right? I've said this before. I just like to have a little bit of texture. So sometimes if I like make a burger or have some pasta or something, I'll throw some like chips in there. That sounds so ridiculous now that I say it, but I just do it because I like texture. I like the texture. Is something wrong with me? Most likely, probably, but we haven't got that checked out yet. So maybe I should. Anyway, enough rambling on. I'm talking shit. Um, most unusual fetishes. Let's get right into it. My name's Kyle. I'm 31 years old and I love grandmas, especially yours. Wow. Well, you really did just get right into it. Um, hey, Kyle. Nice to meet you. My grandparents are dead. So thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> anyway, I don't think look this it is. Okay. I've seen this before, you know, people dating older people or old people dating younger people. I wouldn't go as far as to say it as a weird fetish. Like I've seen weirder fetishes in my time, but it's not. Yeah, it is definitely out of the ordinary. Fair way to put it, I think. Sex with older women. The truth is they like it. A 68 year old woman enjoys passionate, vigorous sex just as much as a 23 year old college cheerleader. Yes, thank you for that. Appreciate that information. And to be fair, why wouldn't they, you know? Why wouldn't they? I'm not, I'm definitely not against older people having sex. Actually, apparently, fun fact for you. Well, maybe not a fact, so don't quote me. <laughs> but I heard that retirement homes have like the highest rate of gonorrhea or something. Definitely do not quote me. Fact check that for yourself, but older people getting it down. And if you're watching, that is probably your grandparents. If they're still alive, you know, unlike mine. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up. Appreciate it. Fuck you, Carl. I met this lady online named Karen. I saw her pictures. I thought she was absolutely gorgeous. And I am so looking forward to meeting her tonight. Karen, <laughs> you made it. <laughs> so good to finally meet you. Karen, oh, it's so nice to meet you. What does he do? Like, does she take him back to retirement home? He's never gonna meet her parents. Doesn't have to worry about that. God, even her kids are probably older than him. It's a bit odd. It is a bit odd, okay? I'm not gonna, it is a little bit odd. It's a little bit nerve wracking because well, he is so much younger than I am. I've got butterflies in my tummy. That hasn't happened in so long. That's not butterflies. That is a kidney stone. Go get that checked out quick. It's so great to finally meet you. You I looked know. great online, but you look incredible in person. You really do. Oh, that's so sweet of you to say that. I clicked on you. Why did you respond? Like, how do we end up here? I look at like all of these celebrity women that are going out with younger men and I thought, well, you know, maybe I should try it. Whoa, that, that smile, eh? That teeth, those teeth. Oh, what is that black shit? <laughs> like, I'm not one to say my teeth, I, my teeth are a little bit um, crooked. It's a fake tooth. Right. Okay. I see. I'm down to the bottom of it. I am a dentist. End of the day team. If they love each other, who are we to judge? You know, who are we to judge? You seem to be intelligent. Mm. Although I'm not going to say that I necessarily decided to come out with you because of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Likewise. Damn, Garen's getting right into it because of your penis. Sorry, I'm in a weird mood today, if you can tell. It's fun to be able to feel like this again, you know, just all excited and quivering. And... Oh, actually, they look really delicious. Forget the show. Where the frick did you get those mozzarella sticks from? Let me know. So you've done a lot of traveling. I've been, I've been around. Um, mm. Would you go with like someone like me? Because I'm old enough to be your mother, definitely. Maybe yeah, old enough to be your grandmother, but you're depending. Pretty, but you're pretty enough to take home, though. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, imagine traveling around on third. You know what? There actually might be some perks to it, right? She might get the disabled parking at um, supermarkets or she might get to go on planes first because she's 156. There's also some downsides. You might have to change your diaper. You have to help her up the stairs, you know, when she walks. It's, it's, it's give and take. It's give and take. Let's dance. You want to dance? Yes, yes you're right. Oh. Come this one. Thank you. Come this one. The date with Karen was incredible. Be gentle, Carl. She could she could dislocate her hip. So let's just let's take it easy, nice and slow. Why are they coming on a show to do this? It's always a question I ask. You know, why are they actually making this public to the world? Do they get paid, or is it fake? You know, there's 
There's a few ways to look at this. 100% my type. Wonderful Sorry, are we on YouTube? This is... I think I've seen this video before. <laughs> that was out of nowhere. Well, shout out Kyle. He's got a lot of experience, I, I bet. I just don't want it to end. My love for balloons, it's also a sex. Okay, well, that's Karen and Kyle. That was quick. Already on to the next fetish. <laughs> so far, sounds like it's going to be a little bit more um, out of it. You know what? As I said, it's not that bad. Yeah, there is a massive age gap. But you know what? Shout out to them. Little death do them part, which maybe sooner than we think she honestly she could be gone from this world at this point <laughs> i'm not laughing at that i don't think that's funny i think uh, that was a joke that was a joke uh comedy humor ha huh? my love for balloons it's also a sexual love oh straight into that one sexual love for balloons interesting this is where we're starting to get to a bit more interesting fetishes and this is why i wanted to watch this video not for this guy specifically but for these weird fetishes when i see a, a beautiful balloon my heart starts to flutter and i get aroused Fucking hell, that almost aroused me just watching that. Jesus. All right, it's getting a little hot in here. I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. Why? Why? Why did you have to use those? And also, why does it make it shorter? 12 inch to 11 inch. Only 12 inches. <laughs> Wonder what he thinks about two and a half inches on a good day. Not because of me. That wasn't, that was, yeah. I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. That way it can take a lot of abuse. What if abuse? What are you doing to these balloons? God damn. Hey, the smaller ones can take abuse too, all right? Why is it just the size that means how much abuse they can take, okay? It's not about the size, right? It's how you use it. It's the motion of the ocean. Everyone knows that? I'm holding one, you know, hugging it. I'll kiss it. And it's like being in heaven. I mean, don't you like to hug and kiss the woman that you love? Yeah, but that is, um, we were evolved to do that, dude. We weren't, <laughs> it's definitely not the same as kissing a balloon and abusing a balloon. Damn, even in balloons, they like it big. That's just crazy, you know? Shout out to the short kings. Shout out to the little guys. Boy, myself. Holy frick, there's a whole group of people that have sexual fetishes with balloons. Imagine joining that group in university. <laughs> interesting, interesting bunch. There's lots of people out there that feel the same way as I do about balloons. Why have they got feet going on there? All right, this is, I'm still confident that we're not on YouTube, right? This is almost soft porn. Especially if you, if you have that loon, if you're Luna, or how would you say it? If you have Luna, this is pretty much porn. So technically we're watching porn right now. And you know what? I'm not hating it. There's two groups of the lunar group. You got the poppers that get aroused by popping balloon, and you got your non-poppers. Okay, this is kind of outrageous right now. They've got subgroups of the lunar group. We're watching soft porn for lunars. I feel like there's more we could do. We could, you know, we've got the, what is it? Poppers and something about rubbing a nipple. That's what kind of what it looked like. What a weird video. <laughs> Julius's addiction to balloons started when he was hospitalized at just four years old. My mother come to visit one time and she gave me a, a real nice blue balloon. But that night the nurse grabbed it and I heard the balloon pop. So after she left, I just cried myself to sleep. Think about this, right? That is literally, I mean, in their minds, in his mind, balloon popping, unless you're a popper, unless you love that, that's like his girlfriend exploding. How tragic is that? Imagine if you were just in hospital one night, you're playing with a, a girl, yeah, a girl, and, well, that sounds weird. And nurse comes in, grabs your girlfriend, takes her weight, and you, you hear her explode. That is what he experienced. Yeah. Since then, the sound of a- Holy shit, that has got to be bigger than 12 inches. All right, that is massive. Fucking hell. How much abuse can that one take? Good lord. Since then, the sound of a balloon popping devastates Julius, and he even rescues balloons he believes to be in danger. Okay, so now we're getting more into it. This is like his first West, you know? We've got the poppers that love it when they pop. And then we've got, what's his name? Julius or something, who's a nipple rubber, and he hates it when balloons pop. So they're kind of, it's like a civil war between lunars. This is, in, this is interesting. I'll go to car dealerships and um, do what I call a balloon rescue. When they set them out early in the morning, they're really beautiful. And as the sun uh, bakes on them, they get really dull, uh, misshapen. I feel, you know, like I give him a second chance at life. I wonder what his thoughts are on the movie Up. He probably saw this movie and ejaculated 20 times. You seen that movie? You know how many balloons are in that? That is his dream. The only people that know him is my family. My wife thinks it's strange. 
but she accepted. Oh, so he has a wife. Okay, so he's not, he's into balloons and humans. Okay, so that's not as bad. My name is Nathaniel, I'm 27 years old. Oh, okay, on to the next guy. My name is Nathaniel, I'm 27 years old. And I'm in a serious relationship with my car. Yep, I've seen Nathaniel before. I'm pretty sure H3H3 made a video on, on this guy years ago. Crashing it with your car. What's weird? Are balloons or car? I think balloons might be a little bit more odd. More accessible though. So I'd rather, if I had to choose between the two, I'm picking balloons because they're cheap. Good morning, baby. My handsome man. Oh, so he's also homosexual, I guess. Is that what you call it? I mean, if uh, his car's a guy and he likes guys, he's also, you know, swinging for the same side. All right. Um, nothing wrong with that. I mean, with the, the homosexual side, there, may be, there might be a little bit something just not quite right with the car. But do you think that obviously these guys have a little bit more, you know, going on than just they like objects? Nathaniel is in a committed relationship with a car that he's named Chase. He met Chase in a resale lot about five years ago. I mean, committed is a strong word for it. Chase doesn't really have a choice, does he? If Chase won out, that's not going to happen. It's only, it's a one-way relationship, really. Nathaniel's obsession first developed as a teenager when he would build model cars. But he didn't find true love until he met Chase. I find this part of him the most sexy just because of the subtle lines and curves. And I'll give him a kiss here. And just kind of caress him down the side. Is... A tough watch, you know? Again, we're actually, we're kind of almost, we're watching him have sex. I mean, that's what sex is to him, because he has sex with the car. So it's like, we are watching him have sex. Initial reaction was, I was kind of shocked. It was kind of weird, because it was just hard to understand. Okay, so there's a word for it. And I guess, I think it was Julius would fit into this as well. Objective failure. Hmm. Honestly, I, I don't know why I feel the way I do. But... I just absolutely love Chase. We always have such a good time together. All right, we've seen that. We've seen him kiss that thing about 20 times. We don't need to show it again. He likes a lot of the same music I do. We have a favorite song. It's uh, Can't Fight This Feeling by Ariel Speedwagon. I mean, I wonder what this guy <laughs> thought when he saw the movie Cars. It's almost like Pixar have just gone and made movies about these guys' fetishes. Interesting, Pixar. Explain yourself. Just lean against him a little and just be with him mainly. Love you. But Nathaniel's relationship with Chase goes beyond dates and presents. We have our times when we get sexual. Does that feel good? You're a handsome man. Yeah, the music change on that was crazy. It just went from like all half years to this guy's a fucking creep. But again, he must see Lightning McQueen and just, well, ejaculate 20 times, just like Julius. <laughs> Love you, baby. What we do the most often is I like to lean over his fender and across his hood and uh do little things like that and uh yeah mate we've seen you do that twenty five thousand times tlc we don't need to keep showing this okay it's beyond the borderline now this is porn especially if you're attracted to cars if you have an objective feeling and you're watching this you're watching porn i love it <laughs> and kind of press up against him and just and rub against him like that one of his more bold positions is for me to be underneath him if we're talking positions, why is the car on top? Come on. I think you'd be the one on top, right? That's a lot of weight to take. It's very special to make love to Chase. I am worried for my friend because it's not normal. Honestly, I'd be worried for the car. <laughs> I'd be worried for your friend. I'd be more worried for the car. That, that's, that's, <laughs> that guy's just going to sit there and take it. People that don't understand and make fun of you. Nathaniel's so attached to Chase, he rarely lets anyone else drive him and never lets Chase out of his sight for more than 24 hours. There have been times it brought tears to my eyes because I wasn't with him at work. His picture's on my desktop, so I see his face all the time. It really bothers me when he gets dinged or scratched. If somewhere were to have him chase, I, I, my heart would just stop. I just have to gather myself here i'm sorry for all this and that is the video right okay conclusion it is it is a bit strange but these guys they're not really hurting anybody you know it is kind of just them having their fetishes and it's not hurting anybody else so i think each to their own they're doing what they do and it makes them happy screw it who cares although it is a bit odd and we technically in their terms we've just watched a couple of videos of porn so this should probably be demonetized and taken off youtube i'm just kidding i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching the video if you did like it make sure to like and subscribe we're up to 630 of you beautiful bastards i really appreciate all of it and i will see you in the next one have a good day Woo!